Greetings fellow gunmen of the ice sheet, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first Wendigo, episode 228, Low Shield Wrecked. Well, if this is week number 33, the one year anniversary of this series IRL time would be obviously, you know, not <laughs> that's, I mean, it would be months and months from now. Uh, Trala, you got popped out because you're too old. So you're female, you are a six. Uh, we have to vote on what to make of you. So you have a little bit of, uh, a tiny bit of skill towards medical, equal shooting and melee. Uh, what to do with Trella? So either calling us to prisoner, those are the, those are the two potential uh, results, because you know, as a female, they can't be in the crypto sleep. And uh, and cheers. So hard worker, bloodlust, annoying voice. And then if you guys vote on calling us, I'll have you vote on the specific weapons. And I think what I'm going to do is grow this egg in the growth vat that Trella just popped out of. And once it's born, um, I can, I can uh, uh, put it in the accelerated growth vat where Icarus comes out of. I guess we're getting... Nope, Madsy's not old enough. I think it was just a batch of two. Oh no, Phoenix Phoenix might pop out soon too. Yep. And all three are potential colonists. Wow, our population grows. Hey, Nemi, thank you for the resub. I, I I appreciate the support. Much, much appreciate the support. All right, here we go. Inserting this one into a vat as well. The Flawless 7 going in a vat. And I bet Phoenix is about to pop out as well, because they usually pop out in batches. How old are you? You are... Yeah, you're going to pop out in a eh, mm, few minutes. Who's starving? Oh, Trala. Yeah, it's because you're in a coma. Lowe's feeding you. You're fine. Okay, Trala's going to be colonist. Um, I don't think Trala has any specific... Well, let's see. So for farmers, I could always use more farmers. But uh, what combat or Trala? Melee arranged. So to answer your question before you ask it, I have got uh, 11 ranged and 8 slash 9 melee. Uh, I don't really count Bryzik because he doesn't punch. He's a sidecaster, really only. So we'll say that we have uh, 8 melee. Um, also keep in mind while you vote on that, that uh, the new person, Pain, um, is not going to be a shooter because they have careful shooting, which means that they shoot very slowly. So they will definitely be melee. So I don't know if that incur uh, changes the outcome of this one, but uh, but Pain is Pain. If they are going to be a colonist, will 100% be uh, a melee because careful shooter makes for horrible shooters. 
ruining their DPS. Ruining. It's really one of my least favorite positive traits. I really, I, I consider it to be a massive negative. Oh, uh, Sentinel. Let's have you tend my blood. Because it's probably a little torturous for you to refuel such a uh, luxurious blood facility, knowing that you'll never use it. Oh, and Rogi, you got healed. Your old gunshot wound to your, I don't know where it was. Maybe it was a limb. Thank you, Luciferium. If it's a tiebreaker, I'll flip a coin. Theoretically, could Pain be a good sniper? Not really, no. Because the thing is, all of our shooters end up with kind of like level 20 shooting very quickly. So the accuracy benefit of careful shooting at a level 20 shooter is not great. I'll, I'll put it this way. If you had a level 20 shooter that wasn't a careful shooter, like let's say if you had a level 20 sniper um, with a, a, a level 20 trigger happy with a sniper rifle and a level 20 careful shooter with a sniper rifle at max range shooting at each other, the trigger happy is going to win like nine times out of ten. Meaning that they're just not good. They're, there's just not a, a, a really a, a compelling reason to ever have a careful shooter. The, I mean, the only, I would say the only reason maybe to have a careful shooter is um, as someone to use doomsday launchers or triple launchers, like things that you shoot once. But even then, because it takes such a long wind up time to fire a doomsday launcher, you're going to need, like, an invisibility side cast. Because otherwise, they're just going to die holding the Doomsday Launcher because they won't even fire it in time. But that's, like, probably the only time where, like, accuracy is critical. And also, as far as I'm aware, careful shooting does not help with mortars. So it's not something that makes them a good artillery person. Uh, but yeah, th that would be my two cents. Is like, maybe there's an isolated case when you absolutely need to have pinpoint accuracy for like a doomsday launcher or a triple launcher that you would use a careful shooter, like waking up a mech cluster or something like that. But other than that, yeah, that's probably the only use case and that's uh, that's not gonna be all that common, I don't think. Uh, looks like I need more Imogen. So prisoners prepare to donate. Okay, I'm flipping a coin. Uh, heads will be sniper. Tails will be brawler. It is tails. I would have picked sniper or shoot, not sniper shooter, but oh well. So that would be Trollas. Uh, let's do a little Xenodrum for Trolla. Oh, you have poor shooter. That's kind of fun. Oh, you know what? You're nearsighted. I didn't even realize. So yeah, brawler does make a lot of sense. Um. Good job, coin, for picking the correct thing. <laughs> like, unbeknownst to me. <laughs> I should have checked jeans first. I usually do, but not this time. Uh, so if you're going to be a brawler, that probably means that I'm going to have you move fast and have high manipulation, which also potentially makes you very good at farming. So I'm going to have you be a brawl farmer, I think. Which encourages me to make you never sleep. Uh, great melee, awful shooting, poor construction, awful cook, awful art, awful animal, awful craft, awful mining, awful social, awful intellectual, and great plants with psychic doll. All right, so we're in the negative eight range. Uh, I can work with that. How can I afford... Well, I can give you intense UV, but I don't really want you going crazy uh, while you're out there. I'd like for you to have elongated fingers. 
Yeah, maybe I'll do a longer your fingers. Very unattractive. Oh, I forgot about very unattractive. Um, I have to lose two. Is there an easy, like unstoppable, but I'd rather have you be unstoppable. Uh, shoot. Oh, and do you even have strong, uh, yeah, you do have strong melee damage. And I also need dead common kind. Yeah, true. So yeah, I don't think it's going to be possible for me to have like, never sleeper. But that's fine. This is a decent enough person. So, great plants. Unstoppable. Very fast runner. High manipulation. That's pretty strong. Alright, Troll has worked out. Uh, what are we going to do with Pain? So, Pain is also a female. So, the choice is between a prisoner and a colonist. They are a six flawless. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, they don't have, oh no, they also have nearsightedness. Um, so if they become a colonist, they'd be another brawler. And I'll have you guys vote on whether they become a colonist or not. And then Trella, I don't believe I even have a decent enough melee weapon for you. So I am going to have to turn on the electric smithy. And make a uranium war hammer with T setting. And Phoenix just popped out. So Phoenix is uh, trigger happy, so I'm gonna make them a shooter. I might give them weak melee damage. They don't have nearsightedness, so that's good. And I've already picked the next person to be put into the growth vat. Hey bud, what are you doing back there? It's like spinning around and digging. Wait, what are you? Okay. That's fine. I mean, that's the embryo that I want put in, so. Looks like Pain will be a colonist. I don't want to call it just yet, but that seems very likely. Assuming you're medical, yeah, psych. I... All right, colonist. So also a brawler. Got it. Let's cook another one up. Gonna have quite the cast. Populations are booming. Um, before I cook one up. You are a hard worker. You know what? You're a doctor. You're you're sickly, so I am going to make you medical. Also, a little wondering why you didn't have the implanted medical gene. You got, like, the wrong BB gene. Oh, I must have screwed that up. Hang on a minute. Baby Mark 2s. So I guess I cooked up a Baby Mark 3 and didn't add great medical to it. But the Baby Mark 2s do have great medical. I'm So I guess I never saved that as a template. But they, they were given the wrong template. So, um, Pain, I'm gonna give, uh... Uh... 
I'm going to make a doctor. Feel like I always need more doctors. A brawling doctor is a little weird, but yeah, whatever. So awful everything, but medical. Awful shooting, great melee. All right, so we're at plus six. I have a lot more to play with. Um, I'm going to give you super immunity because you are sickly, so you're going to be sick often. We'll give you super clotting. Good manipulation. Quick study so that you can actually be a decent doctor more quickly. Uh, I wouldn't mind... Well, so if I do Psychic Doll and I can afford Very Fast Runner. So does this look right? We've got um, Robust Reduced Pain, Fast Wound Healing, Strong Melee, uh, strong melee Damage, Great Melee, Great Medical. I think, I think this is correct. Got kind and dead calm and very happy and yeah, this looks right. I hope. Will waster prisoners consume their own psychite if they have access? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe. But I wouldn't want them to go like on a binge or a berserk, you know? And not that they do now that they're dead calmed, but if you don't have them dead calmed, I suspect there's a chance for them to just like punch the drugs because it's in their vicinity. So pain and trala. Nice. I'll get you war hammers. Pain, you're going to be a doc. Trala, you're going to be a grower. That looks right. I guess I can unrestrict everybody because all the eggs have been punched. Uh, last but not least, Phoenix. So Phoenix is a uh, Chorga Happy, Industrious Misandrist. Um, learned a fair bit of skills while in the vat, which is good. Is Psychic Dependent for now. Oh, just because that's implanted. No, no, you are Psychic Dependent. Okay. And you have Pollution Stimulus. Alright, you are one of the super immune. So, what to do with uh, Phoenix? When Phoenix is another female. So, uh, crypto is not a... Crypto sleep is not a choice. Well, I mean, live up to your name. As the animal tamer. Go tame that bunny. Thank you. So who's popping out next? Horsall and Skyra. I think I just made up that, messed up that one baby mark three or whatever, because the other ones seem fine. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter too much. All the other medical emergencies is hemo drained. Which is fine. We shouldn't end up killing anyone with uh, hemogen harvesting. Now, if I'm not mistaken... I believe I called in trade caravans. 
But I, I guess I could check again. Um, you know, maybe I meant to and never did. Yeah. There we go. They're incoming now. Phoenix! So what is Phoenix's traits? Is that what you're asking? Trigger happy, misandrous, industrious. Wow. Icarus just got his second growth moment of the stream. That's how fast they grow in the accelerated advance. Pretty ridiculous. Some of the internal walls won't be reachable. And I don't think I'm going to bother painting them as a result. So I'm just trying not to queue them up. I guess I could just drag everything and anything we can't reach, we just ignore. That would be fairly reasonable as well. A healthy bat birth. I didn't realize mom was coming out. What are you? Oh, you are going to be a prisoner. Congrats. Well, I'm going to run a raffle for this prisoner. Uh, one sec, I need to get the raffle timer up. And it looks like, Phoenix, you get to be a colonist. So, Phoenix. While I... Uh, okay, raffle is running now. So, let's consider... You're definitely going to be a shooter, because you're trigger-happy. Um, and maybe I'll have you... also be a doctor? Because I don't think I would mind additional doctors. But uh, our two g gene assemblers are currently busy, so... that will be done... soon. So this baby needs the prisoner xenogerm implanted. And, ah, we have a sick one. Uh, common. That's not too bad. We'll go with the prisoner mark 12s. I'm assuming I did my due diligence and, uh... The Mark 12s are better than the 10s. Or 11s. So I'll just destroy the 10s and 11s that I've got. So, two raffled off. I think those are the only two embryos that are, that just, uh, yeah. So what are you? You are also prisoner material. You are a six with trotter hands. I will give you proper medicine. Little one, are you a doctor? No, you're just an int. All right, Fang Face, you do it. And I have Wendy over here cooking up some more uh, medicine because we're low-ish. No, Mass, that's not what to do with the baby. 
You don't feed the baby, we just stick him in the vat again. Somewhat disappointed. Oh. Yeah, so that's convenient. Having the, uh, the embryos plopped here. Okay, Trella, we've got your Xenogerm. Then I'll work on Phoenixes. So Phoenix, you're going to be a shooter. Well, let me double check that you don't have, like, near vision. You know, cool. So I'm going to give you strong immunity to make your super immunity cheaper. Um... I'm also going to give you partial antitoxal lungs because that's cheaper than total. There's no way for me to phase out your psychic dependency, which is unfortunate. I don't love psychic dependent people. Well, oh well. You have super immunity and I think that's what counts. So if you're going to be a shooter, uh, poor melee, great shooting. I said you were going to be a doctor, so we'll give you great medicine and then awful everything else. If you're a doctor, you want elongated fingers. Very happy. Fast runner. Oh, and don't let me forget, um, they also need uh, nuclear stomachs. I need, to, I need to roll out a whole bunch of nuclear stomachs. So I have two points left. Three points left. Uh, maybe quick learner? Oh, oh, no, dark vision's a must. Everyone needs dark vision in this colony. I could give acid spray. Eh, I don't really care for it so much. Three points. Yeah, I guess quick study. There we go. Oh, I forgot about weak melee damage. Uh, but I'm not going to redo it. There wasn't, like, good enough genes that would have affected the outcome. Oh, grand. So, T-Sang. I'm just going to psychic shock you. And then the other two that are trying to rebel are the two vampires. Uh... Cactus was asleep. I'm not super worried about vampires because they do heal on their own. So two of them are already unconscious and the last one to be subdued is the already trauma savanted uh, Sentinel. Hmm. How do I want to handle you? You know what? You you gotta learn your place. Hey, Tordek. Go smack Sentinel around. He thinks he thinks he's boss. So Kath got knocked out. No brain damage. T Sing got knocked out. Again, no brain damage. And uh we'll see what happens to Sentinel, who's currently trying to punch a paramedic bot. Oh, he killed the paramedic bot. Well, okay. Uh, paramedic bots are what? Light mechs? Yes, they're light mechs. Okay, well, your arm got torn off and your foot got torn off. Um, perhaps you learned your lesson. So whose bot was that? Was that Lowe's? Yep. So Law, I'm gonna have to wake you up in the middle of the night. I apologize.
wasn't uh wasn't much of a rebellion. Got put down pretty quick. There we go. And then Trala, we also want to do nuclear stomachs. So I don't have all the nuclear stomachs we need. T-Sing was the only one in real danger. Well, not necessarily. Tordek very easily could have um, torn Sentinel's head off. You know, vampires aren't, or sanguifages I should say, aren't immortal. They're just harder to kill. Uh, a breach. Oh, what a cute little raid. Cast can't be scanned. Sounds good. Unconscious and scanned. Whammy, I'm going to have you bring Kath to it. Because I think you're still... Nope, you are actually recovered from your uh, implantation. And then Trala is up. Yes, Trala is up and putting on clothing. I don't think I finished the Warhammer, though. So I'm going to have Trala not um, have a weapon at the moment. But Trala also needs to get Xenogerm implantation and uh, and uh, nuclear stomach. Oh, okay. Just enter the extractor yourself. Uh, quick prediction here. Well, I got the genes I want. Yes or no? This is from uh, Kath. So the ones I'm looking for are the ones with hearts, hemogenic. Blood Feeder, Coagulate, Mild UV, Tinder Skin, uh, Death Rest. It's just any one of those will do. Oh, you know, I didn't realize when he had a low shield. How about we just use the low shield? I don't use low shields very often, so I'm going to take this uh, chance to use one. I like how we were patching up a uh, sentinel and we we're just like, ah, yeah, you know, never mind. This should look cool. I think Kath has another low shield for when the first one burns out, which will be in 18 seconds, which is kind of a while in the scheme of things. Brawlers, I... No, I'll have you drafted. Oh, he lost shooting skill due to his traumatic death resting. Fine by me. How long do I got? Five seconds? Okay, here's what I want to do.
how I would use low shields. They're very strong, aren't they? And we win. <laughs> oh, low shield packs. Totally, totally fair and balanced fight that was. Uh, I think I forgot about the giveaways. So, opinion. You are going to be the baby here. Congrats. Uh, and I'll do one more giveaway timer for the other one, Ryan, who's currently sick. I don't know how long I have until I have to name Ryan. Because I dismissed the, uh, the notice. But, uh, there you go. I think I have enough Hemogen. I'm going to take that off of the farming queue. Natsu, you're amazing. You tireless little Fabricor. <laughs> yeah, T-Sing uh, already got back to work. Now, if he's currently making a Warhammer, that kind of signals to me that he already made one. But I don't see it. But he must have, because I queued two up and he's made one of two. So, there's a Warhammer in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Where is Trala? Oh my god, the names up here. They're awful. So Trala, you're still waiting on your uh, implantation and your stomach. Copy that. Did you manage to acquire any more bad traits? Uh, probably. I'm trying to even find you now. The problem with having a, a burgeoning uh, colonist population, right? I think you're out of the prisons. Yeah, here you are. You're a chemically interested pyromaniac that we have voted for you to become a prisoner due to your love of drugs and setting things on fire. It just be that way. Is it time to call people? Uh, maybe sometime soon, yeah. We'll see. I'm gonna run the other... the other uh, giveaway timer. Nemi, it's yours. Congrats. Called that one a little bit early because I don't know if the naming ceremony has been timed out or not. I don't know if you're going to survive as a colonist because uh, you're sickly. And you're also destined for the prisons. Which reminds me, yeah, the... Uh, the Prisoner Mark 12s do have super immunity, so I'll implant you with Prisoner Mark 12. Which should raise your odds of survival. I hope. And if not, you know, uh, it's just another body to Wendy. <laughs> What is Bryza's timer at? Ends in one day? Cool. Um, so once he's out, I will start setting up the transport pod system to get us down to the Temperate Forest because um, 
he's going to need to recover a lot of his side focus, likely, first. All right, Brahms. Cthulhu or Tordek. I'll do Tordek. Because Cthulhu's in the casket. Oh, man. Kadath, you watched a surgery for a nuclear stomach? Those things are expensive, dude. Or rather, they take a while to make. And I didn't want to have to make one. Ew. Slowpoke. That's not a good uh, trait to have. Change your character's name? Surely. Wherever you are. Yeah, here you are. Screaming your little head off. Nemelius. And you're getting your uh, genes implanted now. Did the prediction about cast genes get started? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, already is closed. I think this is Phoenix's. Correct. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 30th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community on Discord, it also has a link to Discord, as does the description to this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you on next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigo, 